Residents in Slavyansk in East Ukraine were woken overnight to see the sky lit by what they claim were military firebombs being dropped on their city. Slavyansk is a focal point in the conflict. Locals say artillery fire has been ongoing for days. Schools, hospitals and government buildings have been partially destroyed and water and power supplies are regularly cut off. Ukraine's health ministry says more than 200 people, including 19 children, have been killed in the east since the government began its military operation. Well, as well as the regular army, the Ukrainian government has also been using National Guard conscripts and they were the main force behind the military assaults in the east. But entire units have since headed back to Kiev, claiming they're unpaid and have been abandoned by the government. According to official papers, we don't exist. We're an illusion. It's like we haven't been deployed here, we haven't got any ammunition, nothing. We were sleeping on the ground because we didn't even have tents. They just sent us there and forgot about us. And while all the generals and commanders were sitting pretty in their warm tents, guarded by the newest APCs, we were sent to fight like cannon fodder. We haven't been paid. We got around $600 on arrival here two months ago, and that's it. We didn't have any food. Instead, they've been feeding us with promises that it's going to happen tomorrow. But we are tired of waiting. 